Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Learners and welcome to the Python Django data visualization series. We will use matplotlib to visualize the data. You can see on the screen here we have this data of the iPhone sales for the last five years and this is uh, in 2019 187.2 million and till then to 2023 231.3 million. Now we want to display this in such graph. So we will be uh, understanding how to visualize this data using the graphs and how we can do it using Python Django data visualization using the matplotlib. So let's see what are the steps and prerequisites of doing this. So uh, let's see. First of all, uh, the prerequisites, we must have a Python Django uh, set up uh, a Python Django installed in our system then we must be able to have a Python Django project that's a running project we have already created this in the previous video if you do not know how to set up a Python Django project then you can watch my video on the channel which is based on Python Django uh, web app creation my first web app creation so once you have done this then uh, the next prerequisite is the installation of the matplotlib that can be done using pip install so uh, let's go to the uh, project so this is the project that we have already created uh, we have created this index.html my first python django web app and let me uh, execute this using the terminal and uh, we just need to type here the code python manage.py and then run server it will hit enter so you can see this we have already done we have already created my first python django web app now we will continue and create the uh, graph for that so let's see what are the steps uh, in doing that in the first step uh, we need to create view in views.py to store data. First of all, we need the data as we want to visualize the data in the graph form. So we should have the data. So I have taken this uh, data uh, that is the year and uh, in the year the sales of the uh, iPhone devices in millions. So we simply need to uh, have this index. So this index view is already created. We need to modify uh, that created index view so I'll just copy this and we'll go to the you can see here we have already created this index dot uh, html this template in reference to this index dot html template we will go to the views dot pi and you can see we have this uh, index view which we had created in the previous video so we'll modify this index view and we will add data and store data into the directory so I just copy so you can see I have added these two lines one, uh, you carry the dictionary that is for the year 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. In respect to that, to that, in respective to that, we have sales of iPhones. I've created another directory named sales. Then in 2019, 187.2 million. 2020, uh, you can see, and similarly, 2023, 231.3 million devices of iPhones. Now we need to pass this data to our template that is index.html so that we can view the data and just to pass that we will uh, pass this year and sales here in the direction in the directory so year and then sales with the variable y and with the variable x so this is the step number one that we have to do in the views.py first of all we want to view the data and then we will create the graph. So let's see what we want to do the next step uh, we will be displaying this data using the index template so we need to uh, capture this data from the views and then we need to display into the uh, index.html so now let me copy this and uh, show you that uh, we will simply create the table so we'll go to the index.html and uh, i'll replace this code right okay so what we have done in this, we have simply added a table. You can see this is just a table with the caption and with TR, with row 1 and with row 2. The caption is Python Django and then uh, caption is iPhone sales. 
this is just a heading python django data visualization uh, i have kept this table in center and in the first th table heading i have used year and here we will be using the python loop for loop to display the values in the y variable you you need to remember this y variable must match where you have passed here in this y variable similarly this s variable must match to the second loop this s so we have uh, created two loops one for the year and the other for the sales so that we can display year and sales in the form of a table let's check once the urls uh, whether the url is created we had already created the url once we had created the index template so we don't need to do anything in the url so we have already uh, created this url so we'll go back uh, to the terminal and we'll execute this so we'll go to the terminal and uh, the server is already running let's uh, execute the server again so this is the server and now i'll just click on this okay so you can see this uh, data is visualized in the form of a table where we have used this table and in the first row we have used a loop to display all the years and then in the second loop we have displayed the sales of the iphone so this is how we uh, we'll create the table first uh, and now let's see what's the next step what's the next step for uh, creating the plotting so we'll create the graph just to create the graph we'll go to the index dot view and there we will create the plot we, we are creating the line chart so we'll create the plot and then we'll convert this plot into figure that will be converted into uh, bytes so that we can pass this using the url and then uh, using the url we'll catch that into the template and then we will display so let me change this uh, index function and uh, we just need to do the updation into the index function so we'll go to the views.py so this is the same index function we just need to add few more lines into this we have already added these dictionaries now we need to create uh, this so let me copy till here we need to create paste okay we need to create right so plt is not here we need to import this uh, plt so i just right click i'll just click and we'll go to the import section and add import so you can see this import uh this is plt that is inside the matplotlib directory and if you have not installed the matplotlib directory you can simply go to the terminal you can go to the terminal and you simply type pip install matplotlib so you need to install this first matplotlib i have already installed it so that's why uh, i'm not getting any error so you can see you are using this pip version and it's already installed so you can install this matplotlib which will be required and then you can import pyplot as plt and we will be using this plt to plot so for the plt we are using plot uh, function where we will be passing these parameters year and sales this is for the x axis and this is for the y axis and we are setting a marker uh, that will show you the point as uh, a symbol so we have used small o here as a marker then we'll set the title of that plot iphone sales then we'll set x label that we'll display on the x axis as year and y label as iphone sales and then we'll frame the grid of that plot so we can have the grid now ne next is we need to convert this into the byte form so that we can pass it through the url to display as image into the web page or the template so we'll convert this uh, this is the gcf that we'll be using get current figure function so that from the plot we can get the current figure and that will be saved into the fig uh, attribute then we'll uh, use the buffer and we need to import this io module as well so we'll simply go and add import io you can say import io is done so we'll use uh, uh, the buffer variable and uh, next we'll save that figure using the buffers in the format png 
into the fig then we need to uh, keep the cursor to the uh, initial point of the buffer so that uh, the bytes can be read it from the buffer and then we'll use the read function and we'll encode this into a string using base64 encoding we need to import this as well base64 so we'll go and add import page 64 so you can see this base64 is imported and uh, we have converted this into string and we'll pass this string through the URL so for that we'll use URL lib to import this URL lib we simply go and uh, we'll type URL lib so URL lib so you can see this is imported so just by using the URL lib parse function we'll uh, convert this string into the URL and then we'll pass this URL to the template so we have already passed two variables one for the year and one for the sales we'll pass one more uh, that is the URL and the name I have given is DT so remember we need to access this URL using this DT variable so this is how we'll create the uh, plot and now we need to display this plot into the template this is step number four we need to go to the index template and we need to add uh, this image in the form of image uh, we have just converted this base 64 and here we'll be using the DT variable so we'll go to the index.html and after the table let me end this table and after the table I'll simply add this image remember inside this image we have used image src data colon image and then this is the format png base 64 is the encoding and dt is the variable that we has just passed from the views.py and here we can see this is the height and width of the image that we had set so we have, we have all done and now in the next step we simply need to run the server and check whether everything is fine so that we will go to the terminal and we'll simply type uh, python manage.py run server and we'll be able to run the server we'll go to the server and you can see here it's the uh, line chart or graph that is showing the sales of iphone in the last five years so let me explain a little bit in this this is the uh, this iphone sales last five years this is the title that we had set uh, using let's let me go to the okay so this is plt dot title so we can change from here this is the title that we are seeing this these are the labels this is the y label iphone sales you can see plot y label iphone sales and this is the x label that is year so we have used uh, the x label as year and uh, okay we are using the grid function so just because of this we are getting it in the form of a graph if you will not use this grid function let me remove this grid function from here and if we refresh this so it will be plain without the grid lines so we will be using this uh, grid function just to convert this into the form grid form and we have created the uh, caption of the table we have set the table we have created the graph and this is how we can use the data visualization to visualize the graph one more thing these are the markers that we have used in the plot so you can see years and sales are the arrays for x axis and y axis and this is the marker so we have used this marker so like o so this o is displayed here you can see this is right so these are the circles so this is how we can visualize the data uh, we have created just a line graph the upcoming lessons we'll learn how to create the bar graph and uh, pie charts to display the data for the better data visualization using python django and matplotlib